Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. Now today's vehicle is a real head turner and that is the one and only Smart Car. Yeah, that's right. I've got a 2005 Smart 4.2 that I'll be working on today. So let's have a look at it. All right guys, well, this won't take long to run through as there's only half a car here, but looking around the exterior and I'm crossing my fingers that my pressure washer doesn't tear this thing to pieces. Seriously though, the outside is a little dirty, but not too bad overall. Although moving inside and it's not looking so good. And no, I don't mean the frog on the dash. There's tons of straw, leaves, sticks, and other debris all around. And the seats, door inserts, and headliner are pretty filthy and stained, which I'll explain where that all came from a little later in the video. But just before we dive into deep cleaning the smallest car in North America, go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss out on one of these epic transformations each week. All right, well, I can't wait to get started on this little guy and to see how long it takes me to get through this detail today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And try not to laugh too much. Okay, well starting on the pre-wash rinse, and surprisingly the car didn't tip over when I started pressure washing it, so I'm pretty quickly able to work my way around the vehicle. And even though this is a teeny tiny car, doesn't mean that I'll be any less thorough, just that it will likely take me about half the time since there's only half a car here. Moving up to the front now, and if you're wondering where the heck the engine is on this car, well it's actually all the way in the back and is a super powerful 0.8 liter diesel pushing a staggering 40 horsepower, which is enough to get this thing to 60 miles an hour, somewhere between 15 to 20 seconds later. All right, well, getting the smart car covered in foam, the one thing that's really noticeable about this car is that every time I start a new step in my process, I'm basically done it a minute or two later. Now, I'm guessing the interior will slow me down a little bit, but it's definitely a nice change of pace for me to be able to move through this detail so quickly today.
really? This is the vehicle you decide to come help me with? Buzz off. Just be happy in here. So what's so smart about this car anyways? Well, you're offering with me today. Do you forget to do your yoga? Okay, well after dumping most of the debris off these floor mats, I'll get some of my Chemical Guys Lightning Fast Carpet Solution sprayed on, hit them with my Detail Geek green drill brush, and then just blast them clean. And unlike in most other vehicles where they have good quality carpet floor mats, these ones were just as bad as the carpet inside the vehicle, which I would say is one step above the cheap Velcro-like stuff that's nearly impossible to get perfectly clean. Now with the car back in the garage, I'll quickly get the seats removed as there was no way I would have been able to maneuver inside the vehicle with them still in and taking a look at what was hiding underneath and it's just more of the same debris so I'll get the vacuum plugged in and get to work sucking it all up. Moving to the back now, and I figured this was a good time to give you some background on the vehicle and also some context to where all this debris came from. So the car was recently purchased from out of town a few hours away, and oddly enough, it was bought from a farm. I guess the farmer's wife used to run errands and haul things around in the car, which explains where all the grease stains and straw came from. So definitely not what you were expecting to hear. But anyways, the current owner picked it up for his 15 year old son for his first car and with only 84,000 kilometers or about 52,000 miles, there's lots of life left in what the owner has named Scooby-Doo.
starting on extracting these dirty and greasy orange seeds, and I figured it was a good time to answer this week's members question, and that is, what is the most embarrassing thing to happen while recording that you had to cut out? Now, I will say there's been a number of times where embarrassing things have happened. I've slipped and nearly fell and also dropped a seat on my foot once, but the camera wasn't rolling those times. As for things I've edited out though, there's been lots of times where I've accidentally moved the camera during a shot or my hand has slipped off a towel and more times than I care to mention where I've forgotten to actually hit record. Moving to the door insert here and you'll notice I'm using my green drill brush to agitate these stains which it has no problems with so if you've been looking to pick up a set of drill brushes you can find these on my website at detailgeekautocare.com along with the soft white brushes and worldwide shipping is available. Here's the half bucket full of dirty and greasy water pulled from the car. Gross. Okay, while I get to work on wiping down the cleaner areas of the car, I wanted to let you know that I recently posted a wheels off deep clean and ceramic coating video of some dirty winter wheels over on the second channel, the Detail Geek 2. So if you want to learn how to make your wheels look their best, make sure to check out that video. Starting on the headliner now and after spraying on a bit of APC, I'm hitting it with steam which is able to quickly get the stains loosened up and after repeating the process a few times, it's perfectly clean again.
Okay, now to switch things up a bit, I'm going to apply a ceramic spray coating to the smart car instead of the usual sealant. And the process is simple here. Just spray it on a towel, spread it over the paint, wait until it flashes in about a minute or two when you see rainbow streaks, and then just remove it with a separate microfiber towel. Now while I get the glass clean here, I wanted to remind you guys about channel memberships. So if you love seeing sneak peeks of new videos, behind the scenes stuff, or just want to know what I'm up to between details, well consider becoming a member of the channel as if you do, you'll get exclusive access to the members only community tab where I post all of that stuff, but you could also get exclusive members only discount codes for merch and Detail Geek Auto Care or even early access to new videos. So if that sounds intriguing to you and you want to support the channel, there should be a big join button right below this video you guys can check out. All right guys, well a speedy six and a half hours later and the smart car is looking, well, about as good as it possibly can. Now I do have to say it was easier getting in there and maneuvering around than I thought it was going to be. So that was definitely nice, saves my back a little bit. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.